Good morning. Welcome to today's Daily Insights. This is day five of our episodes. What does it take to grow? On behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter Daily Insights, this is Jane Lenny. Today we discuss habit number two. In order to grow, we need to breathe. Prayer. In order to grow, we need to breathe. Prayer. We all know breathing is the most fundamental need for sustaining our physical life. But did you know that continually breathing in the life of God is essential for maintaining and growing our spiritual life? We were saved externally when we believed in Christ, and we received the divine life when we were born again. From the moment we are saved, we continue to breathe spiritually so we can grow in the divine life. Physical breathing involves both inhalation and exhalation. In the same way, as we breathe in all positive things of the Lord himself, we also exhale all negative things in our being. We are revived and strengthened by the fresh supply of the Spirit. And most importantly of all, we gain God himself. In our fast-paced, busy lives, it's easy to find ourselves holding our breath, right? No wonder we are spiritually weak. Negative things building up in our heart and we are susceptible to sin. Oh, how we need to breathe. We need to absorb the life of God in order to live the Christian life. Too often, we pray to ask God for things and answers to problems. But our primary need is to breathe in God. Prayer. Today, we'll discuss what we can do to help us breathe in God through prayer. Number one, set aside time to pray. Much like working working out, if we don't schedule time to pray, we won't do it. I call this time QT, quiet time. We can begin our time with God by telling him we love him. Oh Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I love you. Lord Jesus, I love you. We can exhale all things that are bothering us and focus on enjoying Christ. As we exhale, we inhale from the Lord in prayer. Set aside time to pray. As you set aside time to pray, you develop a habit of prayer. Studies show it takes about 21 days to form a new habit. We can try to spend 21 minutes with the Lord every day for three weeks to begin to develop a healthy prayer life. It will make a big difference in our life if we spend consistent time in prayer to be filled with the Lord and be spiritually recharged. Oh, another important thing we need to do as we spend time with God in our QT, our quiet time, we need to turn off our electronic devices. Matthew 14, 23 tells us about Jesus. Jesus went up to the mountain privately to pray. He left the crowd below, even his disciples, to be alone and spend uninterrupted time with the Father. While modern technology helps us, it also brings huge disruptions into our lives that keeps us from spending time with the Lord. Jesus and breathing him in, he wants to spend personal private time with us by going to a place free from all other people putting away our devices so that we're not distracted. We can shut out the world and take in the Lord in a solid way. On behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter Daily Insights, this is Jane Lenny, taking you through What Does It Take to Grow episodes. Today was day five of our episodes. Tomorrow, we continue with habit number two in the 10 habits of maturing Christians. In order to grow, we need to breathe prayer. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.